All right, this one's a cool one, guys. What is up and what is going on? Hope you all are having a good uh, day, night, whenever you're watching this, if you're watching this. So, a long time ago, I also had my friend buy me pops and import pops and get pops from somewhere, you know what I mean? This one is from Pop in the Box. This is Morgan Stark and Tony Stark. This is Tony Stark's projection when Morgan Stark puts on the helmet. And then it kind of goes leading up to the next movie or, or the next adventure, which the Marvel Cinematic Universe had in store. But I thought this was really neato, having Tony Stark as a projection of himself, and then having Morgan Stark putting on the helmet with the Iron Man helmet projecting. Super neat, and I don't know, like, the cheap thing is this is cardboard or whatever it is, but it's still one of the cooler pops that I did have sold to someone now you know time goes on you get less hmm how do I put this I had to move with all these pops and it really put perspective on to me that I don't really want them if I can't enjoy them you know what I mean guys and and the person who this is going to all, all this stuff will be going to Whoever it may be, the one guy who's coming in out of town to get them, yeah, he's that dedicated, or, or someone else. I just, you know, want them to go to a good home, someone who's going to enjoy them, or they can be out on display and not hidden in the closet like they have been. For me, I've been living in an apartment, and I had these at my parents' house, basically is how it worked. And so, with that, no one, myself, the wife included, we didn't get to enjoy it. And there's no point in having this if you don't get to enjoy it. I'm sure you guys would agree. On one side, it's got Morgan Stark, because this is a two-pack. On the other side, it's got Tony Stark's projection. And on the back, it's got the entire common set. Yeah, the detail on the helmets are really cool. If you look at it kind of really close, which we will in a moment, the helmets have a bit of different gold. And of course, it's the Tony Stark colors. Tony's sitting on a chair there. I, I thought in Endgame, I didn't, this is a spoiler alert, I didn't really want Tony to die. I kind of thought he would have been like Thanos. Going onto the farm. But, yeah, it was a really, Endgame, I'm, I'm just thinking about it. Endgame was very different. It had time travel, it had like physics involved in it. It had a lot of big, big actors as one of the biggest movies of the year. I don't know when me and a few of my friends, my friends and I, we were obsessed with this. And after Endgame, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, I really lost. I watched Homecoming and a few movies after that, but it was just... Homecoming's great, by the way, don't get me wrong. It just wasn't my cup of tea. My thing is Civil War, my thing is... Uh, Age of Ultron and that sort of thing. So I just want you to check this out. Enjoy this with me one last time before it goes to someone else. And let's get some close-up shots. <laughs> 